can a Christian have a demon? We have had this big theological debate in our church for years of can a Christian have a demon? Can they be occupied? Can they be possessed? Can they be oppressed? What's the difference between possession, oppression? How do we break this down and break down the walls that the church has brought forth? Let's be honest. Christians can have a demon. What level? What kind? Let's discuss it now. Join me. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. In this teaching, learn how to receive and release the ministry of deliverance and conquer spiritual warfare led by the Holy Spirit. Kathy is passionate about exposing the enemy and assisting people to conquer torment in their minds. Kathy's new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace, can be ordered wherever books are sold. Now, get ready to receive revelation, impartation, and deliverance with Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, want to welcome you back to my show. And today I want to talk about can a Christian be demon possessed? What is the difference between possession and oppression? And what happens when a demon infiltrates a Christian's soul? Well, I'd like to dispel the misconception that a Christian cannot have a demon. As Christians, demons can infiltrate our souls or our physical bodies, but they cannot occupy our spirits where the Holy Spirit resides. To break this down further, a demon can enter a believer's soul, which is the mind, will, and emotions, and it can take up residence in a physical body of a believer. An evil spirit can occupy a believer's soul, but it cannot enter his or her spirit man. We get hung up on the word possessed, which actually means to occupy. A demon can possess or occupy your spirit, but not your soul. To be clear, a Christian can be demonically oppressed, but not possessed in his or her spirit. However, a Christian can be possessed, which actually is defined as occupied, but not fully taken over by a demon. They can be occupied. Okay. That's what that word possessed means. And that's how we get hung up on that. We think full blown demonic possession. No, if you have colon cancer, a demon can occupy your colon, but it's not throughout your whole body. Okay. And so that's what we have to look at with the demonic realm is as Christians, we cannot be possessed by a demon, but where we're getting it wrong is that word possessed just means occupy. So what part of your body is occupied by a demon? If you're battling with fear or depression, you might have a demon occupying your mind, but it's not possessing your entire being. When we study the scriptures, we find that deliverance is for believers. Paul was actually talking to believers when he said, therefore, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you in James 4, 7. We also know that if we don't fill ourselves up with the Holy Spirit, demons will come back seven times worse in Matthew 12, 45. And again, this indicates that deliverance is for believers. A person without Jesus on the inside can be possessed by a demon controlling his or her actions. But a Christian who surrendered their life to the Lord will only feel oppression, such as a strong luring spirit drawing them into an unnatural or emotional sin, but it cannot possess your spirit. And so when we're looking at our soul, we see that we have an emotional ailment. We have depression. We have stress or anxiety, rejection. Sure, that can be a demon, but you might be victorious in not having offense or anger or control, you see? So those areas that we're victorious is also showing us we can't be possessed because if we were possessed, we wouldn't have victory anywhere. Oh, I hope you're getting this today. Our physical bodies can be attacked with sickness or disease through trauma, accidents, generational 
curses. These are ways that open a door to the enemy and things that have happened to us. And so what we need to know is those things can invite a demon in from our past. We've all heard about generational curses and trauma, but you might be victorious in your finances and in your thinking and in different things. And so I think we need to not get all legalistic and hung up on the words of oppression, possession, occupy, in, out. Jesus cast the demons out. And deliverance is the children's bread. Deliverance is for the believers. We've all have sin. We all have doors that we open. We've all been, you know, rude, angry, controlling, whatever it is. And so what we have to do is stop being legalistic, stop having these theological debates and just say, this is what scripture says. A demon can come in and occupy a Christian in their soul. It cannot possess their spirit. And we need to get deliverance. I believe being the very best you means you getting deliverance, you knowing the facts. And we need to explain this to the body of Christ, to the church. And I believe as we explain the difference between oppression and possession, we can break down some of those walls and some of the churches will invite the ministry of deliverance in because we're not saying they're possessed in their spirit, man. Guys, my podcast, my book, Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, it's about these hard topics, the Python spirit we've been talking about, Christian occupying, the Father's heart, seeing into the spiritual realm, principality, powers, and rulers. I want to encourage you, get Prophetic Spiritual Warfare. Give it to your pastor. Give it to a friend so they know how to partner with the Holy Spirit. They know the truth about deliverance ministry. It's scripturally deep, and they can press through to their breakthrough. So can a Christian have a demon? Absolutely. Have I had a demon? Absolutely. More than one. Can it occupy our spirit, man? No, that's reserved for the Holy Spirit. But don't get hooked up on everything. Just press through to your breakthrough. Bring the ministry of deliverance forth. It's needed for revival to happen. Deliverance needs to come forth. So friends, I hope this helped you clarify that point. Seek your deliverance. If you have a health affliction, please cast out a spirit of infirmity. I really believe that's a missing key to your deliverance. We need to cast out the demon and then your healing will manifest. Friends, I love you. Head over to cathedralministries.org or Amazon. Grab this book and get your freedom and breakthrough. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.